Hello and welcome to Grove Dodge. My name is Jasmine and today we're going to be looking at this 2018 Dodge Durango RT all-wheel drive in deep cherry red crystal pearl. Under the hood, she has a legendary 5.7 V8 Hemi engine pushing out 293 horsepower. In the front here, we have your headlights, daytime running lights and signal lights and of course these fog lights down here at the bottom. Lots of tread left in these tires. They are Bridgestones mounted off a factory black 20 inch trim. We have your indicator there on the mirror as well as your blind spot monitoring. We have your keyless entry, a nice blacked out badging. Let me go grab the keys and I'll show you the inside. So on the key fob here, we have your unlock, lock, your panic button to open up that power boot as well as your factory remote start. So I'll just go ahead and start her up for us. Perfect, and I'll also show you how that keyless entry works. You'll simply put the key in your pockets or your bag, run your finger over the handle here and the vehicle unlocks for you. It's a very handy feature to have. You have this gorgeous black leather seating. Now the driver's seat is powered and you do have your memory seating just located inside the door here. We have your power locks, power windows and adjustable mirrors. Let me just hop on in. We have your lights on the left hand side, windscreen wipers on the back of the steering wheel. Your paddle shifters just in case you wish to control manual transmission mode. We have your screen options, voice recognition, Bluetooth, and of course your cruise control and adaptive cruise control. Now she is a push your button start, so I'll just go ahead and fully start her up for us. So we have your trash control, your ABS, currently sitting at 19,386 kilometers. So lots of life left in her, but do speak to one of our finance managers about any extended warranty that you may wish to purchase, just to make sure that you are fully covered. We'll just flick through a few of the screen options here using these buttons on the steering wheel. Right now are your speedometer, your vehicle information, driver assist, fuel economy, trip A, audio, messages, screen setup, and then we are back to that speedometer. If we go way up to the top here, we have the buttons for your sunroof, which is a great size at that. Also the buttons to open up that power boot. Located on the rear view mirror here, we have your SOS and your assist. Nice big touchscreen giving you your AM, FM, satellite radio, your media options, your climate control, your apps, controls for your heated and cooled seats and heated steering wheel, your navigation, phone and of course backup camera a little bit further down here we have your hazard lights your dual climate control your front and rear defrost parking sensors on the rear which you can turn off if you wish to do so your lane keeping system economy mode sports and trash control now just located underneath here you have your two usb plugins auxiliary and 12 volts all-wheel drive auto low range and a great size center console which also holds your blu-ray dvd player stick with me and i'll show you the rest so you have that nice black leather seating throughout this vehicle cargo note pockets at the back of the seat let me just hop on in if we look up to the top here we have your rear climate controls now you can lock that from the front so no one can touch it in the back here located behind the center console you have your two usb plugins 150 watts as well as your reheated seats now located behind the seats here, you have your flip up DVD screens, which I personally love because it tucks away, as you can see, perfectly into the back of the seats. Now you can get into that third row seating simply by flipping the seat up, give you those two extra seats in the back. Now coming around the back here, you have your rear parking sensors. These are just those little circles in the bumper here. They're going to let you know if you're getting a little bit too close to anything. To open up the power boot, there's a button on the inside of this handle. You can simply push that and she will open up for you, giving you tons and tons of cargo space. But of course, if you did want some more, you can simply drop these seats flat into the ground. Now to close the power tailgate, there's a button on the left hand side. You can simply push that, mind your head and that door will close for you. give you another peek inside the back here this middle seat does fold down just giving you those two extra cup holders we have your keyless entry on the passenger front as well as your power locks power windows and of course that powered seats so if you'd like to take this gorgeous suv for a test drive we're located at 200 st matthews avenue in spruce grove alberta and hopefully we we'll see you soon
Take care.